Hello, I'm John. I'm an illustrator, a graphic designer and a web designer and this is the B and poster design for Manchester Fringe Festival 2022 which was done in a program called Affinity Designer. Now, I'm wearing the t-shirt. You might not have heard of it. If you have, good for you. Uh, a few years ago, 2019-2020, I ditched all of my Adobe software. I was, even, I was using some quite old Adobe software. I dipped into the Creative Cloud and the monthly subscription package. I did not like paying monthly for the software that I was not using all the time. So I packed it in because Affinity relaunched their packages and they are amazing. They're not paying me for this. I'm not getting advertised for it, but as you can see, I've bought the t-shirt. Um, this stuff here, it's basically Affinity Designer Affinity Photo and Affinity Publisher replace Illustrator, Photoshop and InDesign and I was only using Adobe Premiere a little bit but I got rid of that and replaced that with DaVinci Resolve because I had seen a poster on a street in Manchester for it and that's industry standard video editing software that movie people use and that is free because they sell the hardware. Uh, I have not looked back I honestly have not been back. The transformation and the quality and the level of work, Affinity Designer is just fast. It's just fast and it's just good and it turns out really good stuff. Um, this video is about me saying, if you know someone who's a graphic artist or a designer and they're using Adobe stuff, please nudge them in the direction of Affinity. As I say, they're not sponsoring me for saying this. I, as a professional designer, have got plenty of mileage out of moving over. There is a new kid on the block now and it's good. I think it's a case that people are used to just saying, oh, is that Photoshop? Because they've cornered the market on the actual term of digital images. Oh, is that a Photoshop thing? It's not just the case. More so if you work in recruiting um, I have a relative who is hopefully ditching also the subscription fee because they are studying to do work and the monthly fee for students is ridiculous and shouldn't be a thing so I am calling creative recruiters who recruit in the creative space please don't ask for the Adobe suite as a requirement for a job the end result the end result of the piece of design should be what you're judged on i know you need metrics for people to judge the quality of the work on so you will automatically say do you know this software but believe me that students who can't afford a monthly subscription and now have valid options you should also be asking them do you know the the affinity suite of software as well the tide is changing in terms of what people are using it's not just me saying it there's youtubers with considerably more thousands and thousands of followers who are also saying this but i think the word certainly needs to get to recruiters and anyone else wanting to get into the creative design space and work with professional software i love this get on it